everyone. We are proud to bring you another 2K Sports presentation. None of that no fun league stuff in this game. Broadcasting live from the Dome. Our matchup today features the Gunslinger. They'll be squaring off against the Cobra. I'm Dan Stevens, and sharing the booth with me is my esteemed colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's all-pro lineups, Peter. When you think about the great ones, when you take an accounting of them, you're remiss if you don't consider these two pros. But it's just as impressive on the other side. Just look at these two guys. They form one of the strongest backfields in recent memory. They're bound to shake up the defense in a big way. Thanks, Peter. Now let's go to the coin toss. You guys ready? Here we go. Gentlemen, please make your call. We pick tails. It is heads. We'll take the ball. The gunslinger have won the toss and select to receive. Davis kicks off, and the game is underway. Number 27 fields it way back at the one. Jukes dragged down at the 28. Number 27 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Gunslingers will start the drive at their own 28-yard line. Russell grabs the fastball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. You guys ain't got game! Jackson passes this one after the play action and it's caught at the 49. Finally stopped at the 44. It will be first down. Keith Jackson made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Shields takes his first carry of the game and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Throws it to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 28 couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Third and seven. Number 80 grabs the bullet, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 80 got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Fourth down, and they're going for it.
The Gunslingers want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. It's ready to punt it away. <laughs> Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Eddie Blackwell didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Cobras find themselves in dangerous territory and will start this one way back at their own three-yard line. Blanchard has his number called on first down and heads up field, finally dropped at the 18. Brian Blanchard can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. First and 10, ball at the 18-yard line. up third down. Whoa! Out of way to hold him. Yeah, I wasn't letting him break that one. If we can't stop him here, we got problems. Third and nine. From over 19 yards. Miles tips it to the left sideline, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Number 80 had the head out of bounds short of the first, and as we all know, it doesn't count if you keep running once you're out of bounds. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Don't let get that point! Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Number 27 fields it at the 40. Drag down at the 43. Number 27 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Gunslingers had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 43-yard line. Jackson makes the pass and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 39. You got nothing, man, nothing. The Cobras are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 39-yard line. Right 
Blanchard catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Brian Blanchard ran out of bounds before he got back to the line of scrimmage, Dan. Maybe he thought he was playing on one of those wider metric system fields. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. Goes right up the middle and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Brian Blanchard stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Hudson catches it in the flat He's looking for room, tackled at the 47. Greer was in on the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. We had an injury away from the ball, and they are sending out the trainers. As always, we'll hope for the best, and any updates that we get, we'll pass along to you. Rob Gesser suffers a tough break here. Unfortunately, injuries are too often a part of this game. The man Saunders right. lines up to punt that after the three and out. To punt. Number 27 is deep to receive. Oh, yeah, this was mine. This was mine. <laughs> Saunders takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 27 fields the punt at the 15, brought down at the 18. Number 27 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The gunslingers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 18-yard line. Shields catches it in the flat and is at the 25. No one in front of him. 40, 30, finally stopped at the 23. First down. Salim Shields enhances this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. With all that time you're giving me, I could put on a clinic. We'll give you all the time you need, man. First down, oh. tight end to the left. From the Cobra, 23 yards. Jackson throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 26, tackled at the 18. Salim Shields made an excellent grab back there and then tacked a few more on. Great effort. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four from the Cobra, 18 yard line. the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. First and goal. Shields takes it across the line of scrimmage and rambles for about five. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. 
Salim Shields suffers a tough break here. Unfortunately, injuries are too often a part of this game. Second and goal. Well, the defense has its hands full, Dan. Do they protect against the run or try to neutralize this passing threat? Cross has his number called on second down and gets in for the score. Blake Cross keeps the defense guessing, then makes them guess wrong with that juke. It's a great move, I'll tell you. Fred Astaire would be proud of fancy footwork like that. Yeah, I think that was more Gene Kelly. I mean, Gene Kelly was graceful, but then again, Fred Astaire had his thing down where he could just, you know, dance fancy Peter, footwork around. Let it go. Okay. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Damn, guys, this is nothing, nothing. When we get that lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Number three, boots it away. Number seven, fields the kickoff at the four. Tackle at the 25. Number seven, received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Cobras have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 25-yard line. Blanchard takes it for his fifth carry and heads out right, tackled at the 31. With the carry. He picks up six yards on the play. Bell with the tackle. Second and four from the Cobras, 31 yard. Blanchard gets the call again and picks up a couple. Brian Blanchard played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Miles zings it to the right side, and the reception's made at the 38, tackled at the 41. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 72, defense. The penalty is declined. First down from the eye. First and ten. Number 41 makes the nice catch and he picks up nine. Number 41 had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Blanchard takes this one way out left and barely picks up the first down.
First and ten from the Gunslinger, 38 yard line. him for a short loss. Antoine Brady got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. Watch your side. Watch your side. The Cobras, 49 yards. Blanchard carries it for a third time in a row and will gain close to six. Shields was shaken up earlier, and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did they say, Peter? The trainers have told us that he's got a sprained wrist. They are fitting him with a brace, and they've told our producers that he will be ready to go back in later in the game. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Number 80 catches at left sideline, and he's looking for room. Five, touchdown! Number 80 is going to make a great run after the catch. Oh, there, he snags the football, then fires up the Jets. That's Big-time talent. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Davis is back for the point after. Miles will hold the kick. The point after, and it's yeah, good. Davis boots it away. Number 27 catches it back at the three. Dragged down at the 27. Number 27 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Gunslingers got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. Jackson hustles it out left side, and it's good for a gain of eight. Keith Jackson dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. And that'll do it That's for quarter number three. one, and we're all tied. Now, Second and one. Ball is 35 yards. Shields picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Number five brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and third short. Ball at the 36 yard line. Shields will take the handoff and passes the line. Tackled at the 38. 
Salim Shields can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Shields grabs the rope right side and loses yards on that one. Number nine got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Shields will get the carry on second down and choose up about four on the play. Gesser had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? One of our guys managed to get a word with the team doctors, and they said that he has fractured his leg. They told our producer that given the gravity of his injury, there's absolutely no way he'll be allowed to return to the game. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Lee grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Keith Jackson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 131 yards and one interception. Shields will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Sammy Mack got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Second and 10 from the Cobras, 44 yards. Shields barges off right guard and chews up about four on the play. Third down, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Number 99 gets the sack way back at the 46. Fourth down coming up. Number 99 sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. The Cobras take the field and will start out at their own five-yard line. Blanchard barrels off his left guard and picks up the first down. Nothing to sneeze at with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. First down, three wideouts in the game. Ugh! <laughs> 
Blanchard loses two, and that brings up second down. Victor Jones would not be denied and dropped them for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. the toss and picks up a couple. This is what we're going to do. Good. Trey 50 AZ cross. Great. coverage incomplete fourth down coming up Tom Hampton didn't get all the way positioned for the interception but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips well the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation and it will bring up fourth down oh, yeah. Saunders lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Number 27 fields it at the 43. Tackled at the 45. Number 27 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Gunslingers offense takes the field and they will start at their 45-yard line. Shields cruises out to the left side and heads left. Tackled at the 48. Number 80. And his team made a favor with that key block downfield. This is an offense in which everybody plays their parts perfectly on every down. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play. And now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. That will bring up first down. First down, Gunslingers. Listen up. We got double week stretch. Ready, break. First down, oh. one man back. Shields gets the call on first down and heads up field. Finally dropped at the 34. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Neutral zone infraction, number 94. Defense, the penalty is declined. First and ten. Watch the pass! Here it comes! Watch the throw! Watch the Salim Shields had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Let's go! Second and nine from the Cobras, 34 yards. Lee falls it in right side and he is at the 15. Finally stopped at the three. It'll be first and goal. 
Derek Lee really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Well, if they pass the ball here, watch him to gun it for his favorite receiver. Shields carries it for the 12th time and gets in for the score. Salim Shields makes a phenomenal move here to keep the play alive. Huge move for a huge play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 105 yards and one touchdown. the extra point and it's good Number three sends it downfield. Number seven fields the kickoff at the three. Dodges a tackle, brought down at the 25. Number seven received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Cobras stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 25-yard line. Blanchard picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Brian Blanchard didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Second and eight. Miles fires this one over the middle and it's caught at the 34, brought down at the 36. First down, Cobras. Number 41 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. First down from the shotgun. continue to run. Tony Green got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Second and five. Miles throws a bullet to the flat and... <laughs> Ryan Blanchard sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. You be ready out there. You hear me? Blanchard 
loses one on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. How about blocking this thing? Come on, the swarm is gone. Saunders gets ready to punt it away. Back to punt. Number 27 is deep to receive. Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Number 27 fields the punt at the 19. Tackled at the 21. Number 27 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Gunslingers are looking for some separation before the half and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Shields is at the 35, tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Jackson throws a heater, and it's tipped incomplete. Number seven gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, Second all ten. three receivers all to the right. Lee takes the catch out to the left, and that's good for six. Third down, the clock is now at 12. The Gunslingers will talk it over, and they take their second timeout. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. Traction down, gets the sack, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. Number seven goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. That'll be his first sack of the game. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Gunslingers are out in front, 14 to 7. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Now we'll look at our halftime comparison, and as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Gunslingers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Blanchard would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. The Gunslingers, midway through the first, Pearson shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Still midway through the first quarter, Shields was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They strike first and go up by seven. The Cobras answer right back. Number 80 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 43-yard touchdown for the visitors. Game tied, seven all. 
Jackson went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Late into the second quarter, the ball at the 35. Lee is going to run a great route here. Have a look as he creates some space and is able to bring this in. A 31-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Still late in the second quarter, the Gunslingers out in front by seven. Shields on the carry here as they work the ground game, and this is a nice run. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Gunslingers are holding on to a lead, 14 to seven. Nice job, Dan. The Cobras will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 14 to seven. Now, let's get to the game. Number three boots the second half kickoff away. Number seven decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 22. Number seven took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. This is a big one right here, boys. A strong zone cutback. Let's do it. Break. The Cobras have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 22-yard line. Blanchard is at the 35. 45, 35, 25, 10, 5, touchdown! Dano, this is one beaut of a run, and that, <laughs> that's an understatement, my friend. Look at him go here. Move, speed, and a little bit of flash all the way to the end zone, baby. You can't coach that kind of individual performance. Davis is back for the point after. Miles on the hold. Now the extra point, and it's the good. Davis kicks it away. Number 27 catches it back at the three. Pop hard at the 24. The Gunslingers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Shields snags the missile and he's looking for room. Pearson penetrates and makes the stop at the 23. Mario Pearson got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. And 11 from your gunslingers, 23 yard. Down, six. Wake up, wake up. Richter, Richter. I see two, I see two. Shields has his number called on second down and heads wide right. Down, gun 
Salim Shields. Will do anything to make a play explode. Watch how he evades a tackler here. You know, Dan, if you leave that empty space five feet in the air unguarded, he'll jump right through it. Great play. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 79 yards on 14 carries. Number eight catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for six. Number 80 had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Second and three. Ball at the 45 yard line. Shields carries this off his left tackle and picks up a couple. A pickup of two yards on the play. Number seven, credited with the tackle. Third down, two tight ends in the game. From four gunslingers, 47 yards. Shields will get the carry on third down and converts the third down. Number 80 did his team made a favor with that key block downfield. This is an offense in which everybody plays their parts perfectly on every down. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Jackson goes it to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number seven read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Second and Let's ten. all play heads up right here. Down. I'm checking counter. I'm checking counter. Moore catches it over the middle and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. 32 yards on the play. First down, Gunslingers. Keith Jackson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Shields gets the call on first down and gets past the line. Stop at the 14. A pickup of two yards on the play. Number seven, credited with the tackle. We're shutting you Second down, seven. baby. You Correct. can't move Second the ball. 14-yard line. We'll get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Tackle made by Pearson. No gain on the play. Everybody, get tough! Let's go! Third and seven. Throws this one to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Number 80 has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Here's 
Here's the point after, and it's good. Number three, boots it away. Number seven, fields the kickoff at the two. Tackled at the 25. Number seven, got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Ball is spotted at the 25 yard line. The Cobras got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Number 80 catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Number 80 had a defender closing in, but was still able to haul that one in. Great execution. Peter, no one seems to be able to stop this guy on the left side. They've found him a few times over there. Yeah, he's been running sharp routes, but it makes you wonder about the coverage over to that area. Second down, two wide outs on the field. This is a very good run for a sizable gain, Dan. You can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 144 yards on 18 carries. First and 10. Number 41 hauls in the pass, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Sam Miles made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Dan, I'm seeing a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Gains a bunch on the play, and that will bring up first down. Brian Blanchard has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 164 yards on 19 carries. First and 10. From the gunslingers, 31 yards. Blanchard gets the call on first down and rambles for about five. Hey, this is my kind of party. Brady you the man. With the hey. Second and four from the Cobra, 26 yards. Blanchard gains 10 yards on the play, and that will bring up first down. Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter, credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. <laughs> hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Blanchard carries it for the fourth straight time, and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Dave Wilcox would not be denied and dropped them for a huge loss. Big play. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. 
All right, big play. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. I hope they come at us the same way. Great. Second and ten. Miles rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Anik Moore gets there to reel in the catch despite being double covered. What do you have to do to intimidate this guy? Well, he never takes his eye off the ball, Dan, even as he's bracing for the hit. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to do both right here. Bell takes him down back at the four. Isaac Bell makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. They halt this play behind the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up a second down. Second and goal. Ball at the four yard line. Number 42 has his number called on second down and will end up losing a couple. Dave Wilcox targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Number 15 had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. with a 23-yarder, and it's good! Maurice Davis has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close, he could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Davis kicks it away. Number 27 catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 20. Number 27 got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The gunslingers bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 20-yard line. Shields dodges this one way out right and rambles for about five. Salim Shields gained some extra yards on that last play by adding a dynamite hurdle at the end of the run. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five from your gunslingers, 25 yards. Down, six, great trip, great trip. Watch the right side, watch the right side. Shields takes it for his 20th carry and chews up about four on the play. Terrence West brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Ball at the 29-yard. Let's go, D! That's what we stand for! I got over here! I got over here! Hauls him down in the backfield, and that 
takes them even farther away from the marker. Fourth down coming up. David Holmes read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Number seven is deep to receive. Ellis takes the snap and punts it away. Number seven catches it at the 36. Tackled at the 39. You couldn't find an opening, could you? And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Gunslingers are out in front, 21 to 17. Your Gunslingers, 21. Ready for this? Trey 90 slant stops. Look alive, baby. Break. The Cobras came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 39 yard line. Miles zings it to the right side and is caught at the 48, and he's stopped right there. Sam Miles launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 120 yards and one touchdown. is at the 40, finally dropped at the 34. Anik Moore made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. Ooh. Ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. First down, both wide outs to the right. Miles throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught. It will be a loss on the play, however. Ricardo Hudson lost yards on that play back there. You got to get some yards before you can run out of bounds, fella. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. Blanchard punches this one left of center and chews up about four on the play. Throws this one over the middle, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Jerome Murray was ready on that last play for the deep inside route, and he forced the pass into the turf. Incomplete. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Ronald Eve. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Boots it from 48 yards out, and it's good! Maurice Davis really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Davis kicks it off. Number 27, pick it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play.
The Gunslingers, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of five. Yeah. Anthony Carter made an incredible move and catch against double coverage, Dan. You know, if I'm the coach, I just keep finding ways to get him the ball. Right there, he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple of yards. That's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense. They tried to stop him, but just couldn't get it done. Second down, five yards to go. Shields gets the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 30. Salim Shields stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Yeah! Let's go, third D. Let's keep it up. Your gunslingers, 30-yard line. Down! Shields picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up fourth down. Number 28 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Your gunslingers have selected the punt. Number seven is deep to receive. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Number seven fields the punt at the 30. Tackled at the 34. Number seven didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Cobras are now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they can't be happy with their passing game. We'll see what they call on this drive as we start at their 34-yard line. Stop at the 41. Sam Miles called his own number for the run rather than just throw it away. He got some good yards out of it, too. Second and three from the Cobra 41 yard line. Blanchard gets the handoff and heads out right. Grady brings him down behind the line at the 39. Antoine Grady got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. Great. Tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Pass interference, number 59, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Antoine Grady slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First down with the tight end right. From the Cobras, 50 yard Loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Derek Brown targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Blanchard gets the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 45. Ryan Blanchard got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. 
third and yeah. long. Yeah. 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 Miles throws a bullet to the flat, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Ricardo Hudson got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. No room on that play, and they'll face a fourth down. Saunders gets ready to punt it away. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking it. Saunders takes the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Terry Saunders saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. We have to make a statement on this series. We are. First and ten from your gunslingers, 20 yard. Down! Sit! Double tight wing left! Lucy! Hey, hey, I got two over here! I got two over here! Shields carries it for the 24th time and takes it upfield. Finally stopped at the 46. Incredible run there. He's got great blocking, and that allows him to just pour it on for a monster game. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 124 yards on 24 carries. First and 10 from your gunslingers, 46 yards. What's the carry? What's the carry? We get some. Please, please, please. Come back. Shields has his number called on first down and will end up losing a couple. With the carry. McIntyre with the tack for a loss of two yards on the play. You ain't playing like yourself today, man. We need you to pick it up. I need some help, man. I can't do it by myself. Second and 12 from your gunslingers, 44 yards. Past the line and choose up about four on the play. Third and eight. Ball at the 48 yard line. bring up fourth down number 28 made the save dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers that will be his fourth tackle and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary well he's making them think twice before going his direction fourth down and the punting unit is on the field deep to receive Ellis gets the ball and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Pete Ellis saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Cobras take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Blanchard catches it in the flat, and he's looking for room. Brought down at the 28. Two, two. 
Miles throws this one right sideline, and the reception's made at the 38, finally dropped at the 43. It will be first down. Ricardo Hudson is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. They've really been working that right side. He keeps popping open, and they keep throwing it to him. Well, Dan, the defense has to give up something, but this guy may force them to change strategies sooner than later. First down and four wideouts in the game. Number 41 catches the hard throw, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, Cobras. If you like football, baby, this is it. First and ten. The gunslingers, 32 yards. Miles lobs this one a bit, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 27 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, one man Second back. From Cobra, 42 yards. And the clock continues to wind down. You got to do a better job on me than that. Blanchard has his number called on third down. And the gunslingers take their first time up. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 197 yards on 27 carries. First and 10. Brian Blanchard used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. The clock is stopped at 57. their final one. Dennis Greer targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Yeah! Let's go, D! Let's keep it up! short of the markers. The clock keeps winding down. That will bring up fourth down. it from 35 yards and they take the lead. Maurice Davis puts in an easy short one. 
A clean kick, no worries. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Davis kicks it away. Number 27 fields the kickoff at the 2. Stop at the 25. Number 27 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Gunslingers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 6. Jackson throws the pass and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. We have got to put ourselves in position for three here. on the right sideline and picks up four on the play. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Blanchard got the carry here, and once he found the lane, he was off. A 78-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Cobras tie it up again, 14-all. The Gunslingers still in the third quarter. The ball at the 48. Jackson is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. A 32-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Midway through the third, the Cobras down by seven. Blanchard would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, and it helped to spring up. They climb back again and are now down by, by four. The Cobras again have it. Davis would be summoned for the long field goal try, and his kick would be right through. A 49-yard field goal. The Cobras trailing 21 to 20. Shields is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. After driving 62 yards on nine plays, Davis comes on for the field goal try. Good spot, and this one is right through, no sweat. The Cobras connect for their third field goal, and that's how we'll round this one out. The Cobras squeaked out a win, 23 to 21. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Ryan Blanchard elevated his game like he always does. Well, they put the game on his legs, Dan, and he managed to find his way through holes big and small all game en route to a big rushing performance. And that performance led his team to victory. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.